Welcome back. Today's Manny is this space girl inspired Manny. And I was inspired actually not by nails, but by a piece of artwork that I found on Pinterest. I don't know the artist, but it was so gorgeous I had to do it on my nails. So the four colors I'm using today are all from Zooty Nails. It was her most recent release of colors. So I'll have everything listed below, but they're not for sale right now, just so you know. I already tested this at, blah, 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 tested this out on a swatch. And now I'm going to do it on my fake mannequin hand and then later on my actual hand. So <laughs> I didn't want to, I wasn't ready to do it on my actual hand yet because when I recorded the mannequin hand one was like mid-July and I wanted this on my nails for August 12th for a space planet themed mani for Glam Nails Challenge August because August 12th is when everybody gets to upload their planet themed nails. Base bond wasn't completely soaked up by the powder, so I just pulled out the purple and I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit on top so the rest of the base bond soaks up some powder. The, the purple is not going to overpower the pink I just laid down, don't worry, because it's not like there's a lot of base bond on the nail, but when I brush it off, I don't want clumps to come off with the base bond. And then it's really fun playing with this mannequin hand because the tips on this hand are removable. <laughs> so sometimes it'll like slowly come out and then I have to push it back in. It looks really creepy, but after a while you just get used to it. It's part of your day. Oh, I also have, <laughs> don't judge me, a fake mannequin finger. So whenever I want to do like nail art on just one finger, I just want to show one design. I have the finger that I can work on. So I plan on doing like more tutorials on Instagram with just the finger and this way I'm not wasting swatch sticks like I can keep that just for swatching my dip powders and my glitters and stuff but I'm really enjoying this it's really I don't know like it's nice to be able to do nail art without having to redo your own mani This technique that I'm using, I mean, it's not really something that I've seen or been taught, but it reminds me of 
the spring into summer mani that I did from Sparkle & Co. for my 3k giveaway. Um, it was like the iridescent glitter that I placed in like four different areas. So that one actually had a rhyme or reason because you basically put the glitter on one corner of the nail, put the other one on another corner of the nail, and then you just go around in a circle or clockwise. This one is like very scattered, like you want it to be marbled basically. Oh, I wonder if I had done this like using a marbling technique, if it would have came out the same. If anybody tries that, let me know tag me or something let me see how that turns out that would be really cool to do these like bold colors so not your traditional white gray and black for a marble if you did like these blue pink and purple hmm might be something i work on in the fall Ooh, speaking of fall what about fall marbles i need to do some research i need to start looking up some colors or something so I'm activating the nails because I want the, obviously, nails to harden so that I can start putting nail art on it because, as you saw from the intro, there is some stamping and some, like, dotty cure magic that happens. Like, those aren't decals. Sorry. I wish they were. That way everybody can go grab them. And also another thing that sucks, the stamping plate that I used is a discontinued stamping plate from Moyu London. But there are tons of stamping plates out there that have beautiful like figures of women on them that you can totally buy to do kind of like the same thing but your way. So things are pretty much done with the dip powder portion. Um, I'm going to finish up my finger and my my pinky finger, not my finger. I've, I'm working with five fingers here, duh. So I'm going to finish up my pinky finger, kind of like rush through it for you guys so you don't have to sit here and watch me do the same thing 20 times. It's pretty easy if you ask me. There's like no rhyme or reason. I don't think you can mess this up to be honest because it's like an imperfect galaxy. Like our galaxy is perfect. Are cotton candy clouds perfect? Like, I don't even know if they're truly real or just, like, something invented. Don't ask me. Whatever. But, yeah. I'm really excited. And pretty soon, we're going to get into doing the design. So, stay tuned. So here's the stamping plate I was just talking about. So it has Wednesday Adams on it. I love it. And it has a lot of other spooky stuff. It was released around Halloween two years ago and it sold fast. But what I'm using is the image in the middle bottom row. It's this mermaid. Yes, it's a mermaid. And I'm using black stamping polish for the hair just kind of to mimic the artwork that I showed you guys in the beginning of this video. And I'm actually going to fill in like the little seashells and stuff that are in her hair to make her hair just completely black so there's no mermaid accents to it because I'm not trying to paint a mermaid on my nails. And then I'm going to paint that there, fill in her skin color, and then when I stamp that, that's when I'm going to put the planets in her hair. Kind of like how the seashells are in her hair here, I'm going to put planets on her. So I know for this you can use like a nail art brush if you don't have a dotting tool. I just prefer dotting tools. I feel like they glide on a lot easier. And like I plan on also doing a stamping tips and tricks like a lot of cool things in one stamping video for you guys. But that's coming up soon just not yet. Anyways um, so I like the dotting tool and one tip that I have when you're doing a reverse stamping. So obviously the stamping polish on your stamper, your clear jelly stamper, is drying. What you don't want is to slap dry polish on top of dry polish. So you have to make sure you're constantly picking up wet polish from your, your little, little palette here and then putting it on the image. And your, your polish on your dotting tool just cannot be dry or drying. 
or else it's going to pick up the dry polish on the stamper and ruin all your work. This is pretty much what it looks like without having her face colored in. So I have a nude regular nail polish in my collection and it's the Sally Hansen fast drying. I feel like it doesn't dry that fast to be honest. Um, so I'm going to fill in just her skin. What I do like about how it's not as fast drying is when I'm doing reverse stamping, I don't have to worry about going super duper fast because it's not drying as fast as like my black polish was for example. So I can kind of take my time on this, not like I need to or anything. So I'm not going to place this on my nail immediately because if I do, everything is going to smoosh and ruin everything that I have on here. You actually have to let your reverse stamp almost completely dry before you stamp it on your nails. It sounds crazy, but all you need is a sticky base coat or a nail polish base coat or gel base coat, something tacky but mostly dry in order to stamp a completely dry polish onto your nail. So I'm adding um, some white polish to my little palette here and I'm just going to put little tiny white dots all over the galaxy cotton candy clouds. I'm just going to call it galaxy because this is going to be titled galaxy girl. So these are going to mimic basically stars in the galaxy. You can obviously do this any color you want or omit this if you don't want stars in your galaxy. I just think it adds like a little bit of contrast in the sky. So I'm doing some smaller ones, some larger ones, and I'm even hand painting like a really, I think it's cool star. I actually end up messing this up. Like it does not look that cool when I'm doing it with the dotting tool. So I smudge it. Um, yeah, not that great. And I'm going to redo it. I actually have this shape on one of the stamping plates I'm going to be using today. So I'm like, why did I freehand this? So it's pretty much almost dry. It's getting there. So since it's almost dry, I'm going to slap on some sticky base coat onto my middle finger, not mine, the mannequin hands, and let that dry almost all the way to where it's not insanely wet, but it's just tacky enough so that I don't actually pick up the design on my stamper. This is my most used stamping plate that I own. It's from Kelly Marissa, who just started following me on Instagram. Ah, fangirling major. Anyways, um, this also is a Born Pretty plate, and I just like it because it has cats and space and galaxies and stuff. So I'm going to be using a couple images from both of these plates, but I highly recommend that you guys do like the, if, if you're looking for a space themed plate, get the Kelly Marissa one. Anyways. Obviously, I'm talking about plates and not what I'm doing here. It stamps really nice. Like, the fact that none of this smudged, it didn't squish her face, and nothing is, like, popping up is a miracle to me because there's so much polish on this nail right now. But I feel like the girl turned out perfect. So, what I'm going to do is, like, kind of, like, pat down the sides so that the polish clings to the sides. And then we're going to start adding planets to all of these nails using the two plates that I just talked about. So, yeah. I picked out some nice, I think, contrasting colors of stamping polish that I have in my collection. All of my stamping polish is from Maniology just because it's super affordable, very pigmented, a great size, great, I already said affordable, price, and it ships to you really, really fast. So, I just think Maniology polish is amazing. So I just randomly just select different like planets, moons, stars, whatever the heck is on these plates. I just randomly stamp them on her hair, on the other nails. It's kind of like all over the place. So I'm just going to sit back and let you guys watch 
me stamp. And if you have any questions on stamping, feel free to leave them below and I'll do a tips and tricks um, video on stamping. And I would love to know your questions so that I can answer them during that video. So I think her hair is pretty much done. So now I just have to randomly stamp planets onto the other nails. But before I do that, I'm going to protect her with my smudge free top coat from Maniology. I just don't want to ruin it. it. I worked so hard to get to this point. So the smudge free top coat is basically going to ensure that none of the polish smudges and it protects the design. And then later on, I'm going to I don't know if I'm doing gel polish, like gel top coat or dip top coat yet, I haven't decided, but I'm gonna add one of the two to really just lock it in. Since I technically did a reverse stamp here, I added the lighter color, I just have to put this little guy to the side and let it dry for a little bit before I can stamp it on one of my nails or else I'm just going to have a blob instead of a planet. And then here are some other designs I'm going to be working on to add to the nails.
Well, if you stuck with me this long, I want to applaud you and thank you because we are coming towards the very end of the video. I'm actually very satisfied with how this happened and turned out. I'm just adding a couple little stars as fillers for any like odd empty spaces. And then I'm going to top coat this off camera, but I love it. I love how it turned out. I hope you guys loved it too. And um, if you guys have like any artwork you want me to like replicate as a nail design feel free to send it over to me on Instagram I'll check them out and I'll definitely try to do it like I have a lot of stamping and hand design stuff planned so thank you guys for coming and watching this video if you like what you saw as always please make sure to like the video and subscribe if you want to see more of this stuff and I can't wait to see you guys in the next video